How cool would it be to be able to just look at your customer's car and see what the cause of their concern was? In many cases, you can do just that with thermal imaging. And I'll show you how in this edition of The Trainer. Hi, and welcome to the August 2018 edition of The Trainer. Have you ever used temperature to help you diagnose a customer concern? Sure you have. Who hasn't grabbed a low side AC line to see if it was cold? Or ever tap a finger on an exhaust runner to see if that cylinder was firing? Maybe you used a tool to do the same thing. Many of us have an IR or infrared thermometer in our toolbox that we use to check the temperature of a component to help us in our troubleshooting. But wouldn't it be even better if we could see the heat? That's what thermal imaging allows us to do. It also allows us to see a broader area so that we can see variations in temperature. Variations that very often can help us pinpoint the cause of a problem that we otherwise might not find. Kind of like graphing your scan tool data instead of just looking at the data PID list or using your scope rather than your DVOM. And just like when you learn to use your scope or scan tool, there is a learning curve. You'll need to understand, for example, thermal emissivity or the ability of an object to give off heat. There's also thermal reflectivity. That's the ability of an object to reflect heat. And thermal transparency. That's the ability of an object to pass heat without significant loss. All of these factors will affect what you see on the screen, but you don't have to be an expert to get started with thermal imaging. Let me show you a few common and not so common uses for thermal imaging. The tool I'm using today is Snap-on's newest thermal imager the Diagnostic Thermal Imager Elite. The Elite has some unique features that make it a great choice if you're new to using a thermal imaging camera. For example, the Elite has the ability to capture both still images and video. Images captured can be directly uploaded to an Altus cloud account or stored to a micro SD card in the tool. Altus is Snap-on's new cloud file sharing site. It's really easy to set up an account. Once you have your Altus account set up, every image that you capture with the Elite is automatically uploaded to the cloud. This makes it very easy for you to share your images with customers, your service writer, even other technicians. And it's also a great place to set up a library of your own known good and bad captures. The screen image, like similar tools, shows both the visual image of the object you're viewing as well as the thermal image of the object. The opacity of the thermal image can be adjusted, however, to make it easier to pinpoint the location of a fault. Additionally, you can see the same image in a split screen format or as a picture-in-picture. Picture. And of course, there's a digital zoom option to help you get a better look if needed. With an 80 by 60 pixel thermal sensor and a range of minus four to 840 degrees Fahrenheit, it will provide the range and resolution you'll need for most automotive applications. Let's try a few. One common use for thermal imaging is to help locate the cause of a parasitic drain, especially in those cases where a module on the car has failed to go to sleep. After all, current flowing in a circuit produces heat. By looking at the fuses and relays that feed the electrical systems, we can easily see one that is passing current when it shouldn't be. And here's a tip to maximize the use of thermal imaging when you're looking for that drain. 
allow the vehicle to sit overnight. That allows everything around the drain to get to room temperature and it'll make finding that hot spot a lot easier. Another common use is in diagnosing AC or cooling system issues. The thermal imager allows us to see heat flow through the radiator and condenser, as well as all the connecting lines and components that are mounted in view. Want to know if the thermostat is opening and when? Start up a cold engine while monitoring the thermostat housing and radiator hoses. You'll see it when the heated coolant begins to flow to the radiator. Now here is where emissivity comes into play. The black rubber hoses on the AC system are better at giving off heat than the shiny metal lines. And while you'll still see the temperature change, just be aware that it could impact the accuracy of your temperature reading. On the Elite, you can compensate for emissivity by adjusting the settings in the tools menu. Another factor that will impact the accuracy of any temperature measurement is how close you are to the object that you're trying to measure. The Elite has a spot size ratio, or SSR, of 14 to 1. What that means is that when you are 14 inches away from an object, the size of the circle that you're getting a measurement on is about the size of a quarter, or 1 inch. Move that tool back about 3.5 feet though, and now the size of the circle that you're measuring grows to about this big. This is referred to as the center region temperature and is an average of the temperature measured within that circle. Everything around it is displayed relative to the temperature measured in that circle. Keep in mind that using the digital zoom will not affect this reading accuracy and you want to make sure that the spot size is fully contained within the object that you're trying to take a measurement of. How about checking the heating grid so common today? Whether it's in a seat, a mirror, or the defrost grid on the rear glass, inspecting the operation of the grid is easy when you can see it heating up. And here's one more. Have you ever thought about using thermal imaging to help you find a wind or water leak? Start the vehicle and turn the heat on full blast, then close it up. Wait for the heat to get to full temperature and then use the thermal imager to scan around the glass and door seals. You'll see the heated air escaping from the leak site. The use of thermal imaging is only limited by your own creativity. And the Elite can help you get that creativity jump started if you take advantage of the expert tips that are loaded on the tool. This is a menu of over 70 different diagnostic tips covering nearly every system on the car and includes information on what to look for as well as samples of known good and bad captures you can learn from. And then it's up to you. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the trainer. Thanks for watching.